arms, more than mere limbs, capital A-R-M-S, can extend like springs, an unusual ability shrouded in mystery. Is it hereditary, a mutation, or the result of extraterrestrial experimentation? We may never know. Historians have attempted to pinpoint the origin, but each attempt has ended in failure, as if held back by an invisible hand. Despite the mysterious nature of this ability, it's well known around the world that certain extraordinary individuals share this gift. Many of them are actually quite famous for using their extendable arms as professional fighters in the combat sport also known as arms. For some reason, none of these superstar fighters can remember the moment they first realized they had the arms ability. They just woke up one morning and bam, extendable arms. In fact, one of the arms fighters, Springman, had this to say, I was shocked at first, but having arms like this is actually pretty rad. Oh yeah, I'm Biff, your trusty arms commentator. Today we're bringing you another non-stop volley of arms action. So expect a healthy dose of stretchy limbs and of course, Vista Cubs. But first, it's time for Arms 101. School's in session, and this advice always comes in handy. When selecting arms, pay attention to two things, weight and attributes. It may seem like a no-brainer, but weight affects momentum. Arms generally follow these trends. Stronger arms are more powerful, but also slower. For multi-hit arms, the power of individual hits is low. Sometimes, punches may even run into each other. If your arm is of the same weight or heavier, you can block punches. So you have to choose whether to dodge a punch or block it with your own. If you know the weight of the arms you're using, victory is always within reach, and your chance of winning greatly increases. But what about arms attributes? There are seven different attributes total, and each one kicks in after charging up. Knock down your opponent with fire. Wear him out and create an opening with electricity. Blow away your rivals with a tornado of wind. Freeze a fighter to slow their movements with ice. Stop a competitor from moving with stun. Blow up any challenger with a huge explosion. And take their eyes off the prize with fly. You see, different arms have different attributes, so it's usually a good idea to equip a different one on the left than on the right. So you have two powers at your disposal. Keep your arms' weights and attributes in mind, and you'll have nothing to fear. But enough with the technical stuff. Here are some fighters competing in the ultimate arms competition, the Grand Prix. The Bouncer, Springman! This passionate fighter's trademark is his bouncing hairstyle. While his hair may look like it's fake, his passion for arms is definitely real. His dash, the shockwave, that he can unleash once charged, and the indomitable spirit he shows under pressure make him extremely popular with kids. Here are his signature arms. The toaster can be charged to unleash a flaming punch. The boomerang flies in a curve through the air and blows enemies away after charging. And the tri-bolt shoots three bolts horizontally. Try attacking from the front with a tri-bolt, then from the side with a boomerang. How's that strike you? The scrapyard scrapper, Mechanica. A fighter in the arms league without stretchy arms? She must be a genius, and she's out to prove it by joining the ranks of the arms fighters she admires so much. Her handmade fighting suit is equipped with a hovering function, a perfect fit for a girl who dreamed her way to the top. Just look at her. Who wouldn't want to cheer for this girl? Here are her signature arms. The revolver shoots electrified bullets. The whammer may look cute, but it hits hard. And the homie is a dangerous arm that chases after opponents. 
stop your rival with a stunning revolver and a whammer with the shock attribute for non-stop attacks. It's scary effective. The student of stealth, Ninjara. This ninja in training, currently attending ninja college, is competing as his senior project. Wait, aren't ninjas supposed to be hidden? You'd think competing in a worldwide tournament would kind of go against that, but uh, doesn't seem to phase him. His opponents, on the other hand, well, he totally overwhelms them with his nimble movements and ancient ninjutsu. He can disappear, even in midair or when guarding. Here are his signature arms. The Shock Ram can go around opponents and attack them from the side. The buff pops up after a charge and curves pretty well. And the Tri-Blast requires a delicate touch. Once charged, it blows stuff up. While blocking attacks from the side with a Shock Ram, try blowing up your opponent with the Tri-Blast. The Grim Creeper Master Mummy. This poor fellow woke up at the mausoleum with a goal worth fighting for, locating his long-lost family. His rock-hard bod won't move a muscle when hit by an average attack, and his sneaky bandages restore health while guarding. Bet on this guy wrapping up a win. Here are his signature arms. The Megaton is big, heavy, and slow. And it's even bigger when charged. The Retorture is a fire cannon that shoots three bullets at a time. And the Phoenix is a reliable firebird with a high arcing trajectory. Lure him into a counterattack with the Retorture, then hit him hard with a Megaton. Now that's a sweet strategy. A new challenger just signed up for the Grand Prix. The Speed Demon, Kid Cobra. This charismatic snake boarder is joining the battle. His goal? Increasing viewership of his radical live streams. And what better way is there to increase views than to enter the Grand Prix of Arms? And I mean big ol' arms like a boa constrictor! His strong body has been trained for snake boarding, letting him slither like a snake on the ground as he pounces on opponents with charged up consecutive dashes. Here are his signature arms. The Slamamander is a whip-like punch infused with wind power. The Hydra shoots three vertically aligned bullets, perfect for cornering fighters. And the Coolerang is one ice-cold attack with a wide arc. Swing sideways with a Slamamander, watch as the opponent jumps, then take him down with the vertical slice of a Hydra. The hottest trend in the Arms League is, of course, multiplayer battles. And so, on behalf of the League, I'd like to introduce you to a variety of play styles in Versus Mode. First, here's the most basic mode, Fight. During the fight, bombs and healing items drop in, sending all fighters on an emotional roller coaster. In two-on-two -two team fights, team members are chained together by strings so allies will be more closely knit than ever. Punches can accidentally hit your ally, and teammates can even get blown up together too, so be careful. B-ball is a sport that's all about knocking an explosive ball onto the opponent's court. Because your arms are very stretchy, it's okay to have your arms sticking out to the other side of the court. Winning is everything in this game. Hoops is one hardcore game of basketball. Grab your opponent and send them flying through the net. Throwing makes for a splendid swish. Go for a three-pointer. Break as many targets as possible in skill shot. The more targets you break simultaneously, the more bonuses you'll receive. Quick reflexes are important, but mastery of arms is paramount. Enemies appear in one after another in one on 100. Defeat all who stand in your way, challenge your limits, and most of all, keep punching. The arms test lets you try out randomized arms combinations, and training mode lets you practice a number of varied drills. It's a crash course in brute force.
As you fight on, you'll rack up a lot of in-game prize money. I hear most arms fighters consider it unstylish to hold on to your winnings. Let's just blow it all at the arm getter. Every now and then you may get an arm you already have. But don't give me that sad face. I don't understand how it works, but somehow duplicate arms you receive have a higher attack power. Too sweet! Earn your keep as a prize fighter and use it at the arm getter. I've got some more fighters to introduce, so let's get to it. The heiress, Ribbon Girl. The singing arm spider is joining the Grand Prix with her brand new song. She's walking on air with her next level jumping skills. Even the laws of physics bow down to her unbeatable girl power. But below that bubbly exterior is a confident fighter who can unleash a flurry of lightning fast punches. You think she'd sign my autograph book? Here are her signature arms. Charge up a Sparky to deliver a punch that stuns opponents. The popper is all speed, all the time. And the Slapamander doles out punishment with a red hot whip crack. Stun the opponent with a Sparky's charge, then quickly follow up with a Slapamander. Just watch for the openings and fight, fight, fight. The Ramen Bomber, Min Min. The poster girl for her family's famous ramen shop is joining the Grand Prix. A certified martial arts master, she can knock down opponents' punches with her spin kick. After charging up and performing a throw, her dragon arm would overwhelm anyone. With her tough looks and fancy footwork, she's got me dying for some noodle arms of my own. Oh, ramen gods, why must you forsake me? <clears throat> Here are her signature arms. The dragon roasts opponents with a blazing hot laser. The megawatt is big, heavy, and tingly. Why not? And the ram ram makes a big, fiery arch. The dragon shoots kind of slowly, so it's a good idea to cover each gap with a huge smack of a ram ram on your dragon arm. The man of mystery, Helix. Arms Laboratories accidentally engineered this strange life form while researching arms day and night. Unlike the other fighters, this guy's whole body is stretching. His unstable genetic makeup lets him move in many unpredictable ways. But watch out, get distracted by his gelatinousness and you'll get served. Here are his signature arms. The mysteriously bouncy Blorb splashes goo to block the opponent's view. The Ice Dragon is pretty self-explanatory and even more effective. And the shield-shaped Guardian proves that defense may really be the best offense. Shield with a Guardian, then toss a Blorb over the top. It's the best way to land an unexpected hit. Now I have the utter joy of introducing a two-in-one tag team, the Clockwork Cops Bite and Bark. Patrol robot Bite and his robotic canine partner Bark fight together as a pair. Why robots, you ask? Are pairs even allowed? Why am I asking questions I can't answer? All I know is that Bark does what he wants, distracting opponents, and even filling in as Bite's footstool if need be. He's one devoted Robodog. When their rush attack is activated, they combine forces for a combo attack. And by Bark. Here are their signature arms. The Seeky fires shocking heat-seeking missiles. The Cracker surrounds enemies in fire. And the Bub pops off after a charge, heading straight for the opponent. Try jumping way up high with Bark, then cornering the opponent with a Cracker and Seeky from a distance. The Silver Screen Queen, Twin Tail. An A-list movie star is joining the Arms League. Her signature curls are long enough to be weaponized. After charging, she can utilize her celebrity status to render fighters utterly starstruck, slowing down their punches in midair. She truly believes she's a haircut above the rest, 
and she's ready to walk the red carpet straight to victory. Here are her signature arms. The Chilla will freeze your rivals to the bone. The Parasol blocks incoming attacks in style. And the Thunderbird may look cute, but it's frighteningly effective. Faint with a Thunderbird, then block incoming counterattacks with a Parasol. It's an elegant combo that really suits her. All 10 of these fighters are gearing up to win the Grand Prix. With these 10 fighters and dozens of arms to mix and match, there are literally thousands of unique arm and fighter combinations. Each one offers different strengths and weaknesses, so the variety of play styles and strategies is off the charts. Now let's cover what you can find outside of versus mode. To be crowned champion, you must win 10 straight matches in Grand Prix. Battle against a variety of fighters with a variety of rules until you come face to face with your last opponent in the final match. The Grand Prix is all the rage in single player or with a friend. Connect your Nintendo Switch to the internet to challenge fellow players in party match. You'll play with others in the same lobby. One lobby can support up to 10 systems and up to two players per system. So, up to 20 players can get together in a lobby for two player, three player, or four player matches. The Arms League will divide you into groups automatically. So even if you're shy, there's no need to worry. You can enjoy the fight together. Feeling cocky? Well, have I got the online multiplayer mode for you, Ranked Match. In this time-honored coliseum, only one-on-one -on -one battles are allowed. If you win a match, your rank will go up, and if you lose, it will sink along with your pride. Your rep is at stake, so fight like you mean it. Just enter a ranked match and wait until your opponent is selected while playing another mode. Once your rival is selected, the ranked match will begin immediately. Of course, you and your friends can also get together with your Nintendo Switch systems to play in local wireless mode. It's not just a two-player mode either. You can create a lobby for up to eight players with eight systems and play party match style. Well, fighting fans, it's almost goodbye. Almost. This just in from Arms League headquarters. Apparently, ARMS will continue to offer free updates with new fighters, stages, and ARMS, even after the game launches. On behalf of my many bosses, I hope you'll keep playing for a long time. What's that? Something, something too far in the future to care? Well, for someone like you, I have one more announcement. On these dates, we'll be holding an online demo event called the ARMS Global Task Punch! If you're thinking of joining the fight, please check out Nintendo eShop after this video, which is now. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you soon.